I cannot open this one with my foot. <laughs> well, I might. I'm gonna try. Okay, where's my dull knife? Someone said, can't you get a scalpel or something? I bet I, bet I could, but I'm not sure what they cost. Because I'm a cheapskate. Well, anyhow, I cannot get another two coils out of this material, so I'll, I think I'll try and so these coils will be I think 8 ohms or 7 something so probably have to do them and uh, use them in parallel this time okay so now I get my prepped 7 micron mylar with uh, adhesive already put it on there. I never tried this thin aluminium on a planar magnetic to be fair. Oh it works. I can imagine it gives trouble. Even getting it off might be troublesome because it's uh, rather flexible. I'll just lift the cutter over the edge of the frame then I load my second program. Cut free. Increase the speed. Or maybe not. Well, I don't give a fuck. Ah, I found my blade, finally. Just in time. Now this coil has paper on it. That's because the The, alumin alumini beast, bleh, the aluminium comes with paper on it. I can remove this afterwards, so I have to soak it and then I can remove it. Well, the nice thing is that it doesn't coil up like the other thing. Let's disable this heater because uh, this shed is not isolated at all. So I'm just wasting power here. Fun and giggles, I'll use some alcohol as well. This might be the terrible foil. God damn it. Well, terrible. As in terrible. Well, we'll see if we measure the resistance. If this is not the 7 micron, but maybe the 12 or whatever. How annoying that will be. Because that means I have to redo it again. So yes, it was the wrong material. So this is the good material. I'm gonna dry it and I'm gonna weigh it so we can compare the foils. What do you think of that? So these do not look as shiny and that's because of the glue. And the weight, well, I don't know. Shall I guess? I mean, there's water on there now. I think 2.5 grams. Yeah, that's my guess. Welcome to my kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I'm gonna weigh the coil. So the first thing I made was the captain version. Three point five. Then I made a mylar version, same aluminium foil, 12 micron mylar and glue. Three, 2.3? Oh no, wait, this is the, well, no, sorry. 
and this one is also this one is 0 0.3 millimeters lighter than that one and then the the heaviest one is the 30 micron which is unfolding but it's like five point something which goes here heaviest single heaviest blah 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 and then the one I'm making right now which I have no clue if it holds corrugation and I'm guessing it's not 1.53 <laughs> so the lightest here was that I never listened to 2.3 so the lightest I did here is this one one and a half this one is one and a half grams lighter maybe yeah that sounds good to my ears I don't know I'm not even sure if this will work definitely will try and if not then I can try the one above that that I did not try yet so I replaced the ribbons, well at least the top side of both loudspeakers. This is the 7 micron, 7 micron thingy. I forgot the weight, doesn't really matter. But um, Yeah, I did both sides, but only the top side. So uh, I'll show you a measurement what the difference was between the heaviest one and the lightest one. Now that's that might be an extreme uh, example, but even with the other foils, I made this contraption, had a listen, and it didn't it didn't sound nice, or at least not as I uh, am used to. Before it sounded better with some random tweeters that are lying over there. So uh, yeah dicked around now finally uh, no I don't well I have EQ but just one or two notches not extremely much and I don't even know what they are maybe the, the bevel diffraction who knows um, anyhow now the sound that I like so much like I don't know what it is I don't want to call it fast but there is a difference in um, so this, well, let me explain. This tweeter is 5 grams. This was like 1.7 or something, 1.6. Yeah. I can EQ this one to do the same as this one in the top end. Will it sound the same? Not at all. And that might not be a surprise maybe, but it just, it sounds it sounds weird. It might as well also uh, have to do a little bit with the low end as well. So the combination of both. So this one has less low end. If you look at it, if you just measure it. But if you just put the low end at the same level, then it's clearly that this one has much more top end. It, it just, well, it <laughs> depends on how you look at it. But uh, usually the top end will hurt, be hurt. If, uh, if the weight is uh, increased. Anyhow, it, now it sounds exactly as I wanted it, except for that this tweeter still has problems with uh, efficiency. It's lower than the other one, and the reason is hardly visible. This one is almost butt up against the wood. Oh, out of focus. That means that it's further away from the magnets. Here there is a space as it should and I don't know why that frame does not work. I cut both of these top sides from the same plate but what I'll do uh, tomorrow is I'll change out the foam again on this one and reverse it. So thick foam on the front, thinner foam on the back and hopefully I can get a little bit close to the magnets without touching and I get my 3 dB difference back because this is annoying. And then I have to do the bottom side and I don't know that might be having the same problems. So <laughs> making these, at least the way I did it right now, uh, 
the same all the time uh, seems to be a problem. For now, I'll um, yeah, I'll I'll stop making things. It's eight eight nine nine o'clock. I have a listen and uh, yeah, see you around. <laughs>